To this day, my most popular video is my review of Super Banjo-Kazooie and Tui 64, and that just completely boggles my mind. Like, literally, I have zero clue why. This is the single worst video on my channel. Dear Germany, I'd like to apologize from the bottom of my heart for butchering your language. I ask that every German person in history find it in their heart to forgive me. Even Hitler. Okay, there is so much wrong with this joke. First of all, what? What the fuck does Hitler have to do with Mario? Secondly, Hitler was Austrian and not German, which, you know, oops. Okay, now what's this? I'm stuck again? You gotta be kidding me. Now, why am I complaining about a glitch that I caused by using the moon jump code? This whole video is just the biggest fucking shitbox video ever made, and you should never in your life watch it. But I'm not gonna delete it, because it's not really hurting anything beyond my own sense of self-worth. The reason I take you back to this video is because this hack brought Mario into the world of Banjo-Kazooie. It was one of my earliest videos, and I've since extended my reach to Banjo-Kazooie hacks. As such, it's about time I brought this shit boat full circle and examined the complete photo negative of that video with Banjo-Kazooie and Mario 64. Now, this game is not yet complete, but in its current state, it looks incredibly promising. So far, it only seems to have four levels recreated, but they're pretty faithful, and as it's Banjo-Kazooie, it's pretty damn fun by default. It's especially convenient that you seem to have all the moves right off the bat, which I guess is kind of necessary because Mario's level design isn't really made for disabled Banjo. Also, there's an onion under a bridge. I don't know why, but I like it. He just kind of sits there and doesn't bother anybody. I love Womp's Fortress. There's just a wooden door placed where you're supposed to break the wall in the original game. The snow slide? You can just talon trot all the way back up, which is fucking godsend. I also love how most of the levels have a flight pad so you can just fly around. Now, are there any levels I hate? All dire, dire docks. For some reason, the water is all oily like Rusty Bucket Bay. That was tolerable in Banjo because the water was reasonably shallow. Now, anybody who knows Mario 64 knows Dire Dire Docks has some deep ass water. So combine this with the fucking oil bullshit from Banjo, then what the fuck? Now, in the game's defense, I'm pretty sure this level is unfinished, mostly because there's this whole section here that appears not to have anything in it. In any case, this game demo looks very promising for what's to come. And like I said before, it's nice to see Banjo hacks picking up steam. I look forward to the day when Banjo hacking is as popular as Mario hacking is now. We may be a while off, but I can wait.